Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again. I am attempting to print with matte paper on the Pro 1. Now, I did a first attempt basically using just the basic matte paper setting on the paper choice, which allows me to use the top feeder or rear feeder as they call it. And the results were appalling. This is the result that I get on the Pro Luster. And this is on Canon Matte. And you can see the difference in density. This is using, of course, photo blank. Now, I did not experience that effect on the Pro 10 for some reason. So now I am using the rear feeder, or the manual feeder as they call it, and choosing the fine art setting. That should provide the printer with the ability to print with matte black ink. And we'll see if there's a difference whatsoever in density. I remember when I had my Pro 3800 that I dedicated for matte work and I had that working properly. I was using OCP inks and their black ink is very very dense and on matte paper you get super super dense contrasty results that are really outstanding. On glossy it absolutely stinks stinks on ice. The reds are literally matte. So you cannot use those inks for anything other than matte paper. Which, you know, with it, it does a tremendous job. That is the paper that I... That is the ink that I dedicated 100% to print on my Canson watercolor uncoated paper. And that's why I was getting such terrific results with it. Where no one seems to be able to do so using regular Epson. K3 inks or other makes of K3 inks. So it's really funny, but often you will find the perfect combination for the type of prints or the type of paper that you are using. And it's just a matter of experimentation and a lot of trial and error until you find that magical combination and then you just stick to it. Now that rear feeder actually lays flat. There is a button on the side that you can actually press and unlock it from this partially angular type position. You can lay it flat and actually send uh, stiffer paper through it that you really don't want to bend as you would have to do here. So it's more of a straight path. And uh, unless I get this, as you can see, this printer takes up half of my table, so unless you have the space to do that kind of work, you really should just stick to thicknesses that are capable of passing through the manual feeder and at this angular setting. Otherwise you will have problems. You need a huge amount of space and you have to have access to the back of the printer. Alright, so I see it emerging. I'll go ahead and cut out all the blank spaces. So I presume that I will be able to send some of my white canvas through here and test it just like I did on the R3000 and on the Pro 100 it should work just the same. I can actually um, just run it through the rear feeder like I'm doing now, the manual feeder. And then at the end I'll give it a coat of uh, Krylon Glossy. Because I like to use the Glossy on the canvas, give it a little bit of a, of a sheen. And that increases the contrast tremendously. But ultimately I'll buy some good canvas from one of the paper manufacturers out there and try it out. We'll do some 13 by 19 canvases. And I like to mount them on just plain masonite and then uh, frame them without glass, kind of old style, and that, that works quite well. And I have some uh, actually acrylic clear gel that you can actually brush on and it will leave slight brush marks to give it that appearance of uh, a real true oil painting or uh, acrylic painting. All right, wow, I can see immediately the results immediately. The difference in density is tremendous. It's not, it's not fantastic, 
but it is tremendous. A lot better than before. It could be better though. I'm still not satisfied with this. This paper, or even Staples paper, I'm going to go ahead and try that next off camera. And if I get good results, I'll come back and show you. But that Staples paper is tremendous for this type of uh, operation. In the 3800 that I had with OCP inks, it was marvelous. The blacks were as black as India ink. The differences are actually quite dramatic compared to this. This is a hell of a lot better. Not perfect. I gotta play with profiles. And what I should do is actually profile this combination and create my own profile for it. Okay, this is a lot better. And although it is a bit subdued, it actually seems quite nice compared to this. This is going in the it's recycling bin. And this is pretty good because, like I said, these colors are incredibly difficult to duplicate. They turn to shift toward other blues and not what I actually see on my screen, which is this. Okay, so that's it. I will continue to experiment with this printer. And if I get some interesting results about anything, I'll go ahead and pass them on to you. Okay, so until the next time, please subscribe, please share, please like. Happy printing, and bye-bye. Okay, I have a follow-up or addendum to what I did just a minute ago. And I'm going to share that with you. This just emerged from the printer. I found a profile that is like pro something mad paper and it's located in the driver and it has a quality one and two. So this is what I use. This is Canon paper and this is Staples paper. Staples mat is actually made in Germany and it's quite good and from what I can see the color differences are slight. There is a difference in a shift in color balance but the most important part is that the blacks are deeper and I don't know whether it was the paper change or the profile this paper is actually a little bit warm whereas this paper is quite cold and neutral in the base color so this is Staples this is Canon and although it might be difficult to see on video I can clearly see that this paper has a higher contrast than this one now can you live with this probably can you live with this probably so it all depends on whether you see something side by side often that's the only way you make an actual decision but if i show you either one they're both good okay so that is it for now i'm going to go ahead and relax for the rest of the evening Go watch a little bit of television and then hit the sack and start another day tomorrow. Okay, so I think this is a good combination. And I'm going to go ahead and try the counter paper again, but using that other profile and just see what the difference is. And uh, I will not show you that, but if I happen to uh, get a slightly different rendition and that it's a little bit better than this one, then uh, I'll just report it to you verbally in the next video. Okay. So we'll see you again the next time. Happy printing. Bye-bye.